But uh, what do you say we get this thing started? Sounds good. All right, let's row. Half a cup of cornmeal. And you can use white or yellow. Two cups of flour. Let's go ahead and put our baking powder in. All right, let's go ahead and pop our egg in there that we just pulled out from under our little chicken up on the hill. Then let's uh, come back with the cup and a quarter of clam juice. We'll mix that up real good. All right, let's go for a quarter teaspoon of cayenne. Let's go for a half a tablespoon of Lowry's. A half a tablespoon of sugar. Now, here's where I'm going to take artistic license and go a little bit more than that. Let's, go ahead, more. let's go ahead and go. Good? Yep. Now we bring in the rest of our ingredients. Mm -hmm. Man, I'm telling you what, I, I like where this is going. I like the smell. Right here he's calling for three quarters of a cup of onion, three quarters of a cup of green pepper, and an eighth of a cup of red pepper. You can adjust according to how much you want. You can see that that's, you know, that's about a little bigger than a softball. So this is a lot of stuff to put in it, but I remember eating that stuff. It had that's a lot good. of pepper taste to it. So we've got our jalapenos cut up. I'm gonna put some fresh corn just to have a little bit of corn in there. And we put some garlic in there. We're gonna come back, let's go ahead and put some pepper in there, some black pepper for Glenn. Is that for Glenn? Yes, yeah, for Glenn. All right, so now let's dump, let's just dump let's everything see. in. All right. When we talk about our bluegill and cutting up our bluegill, let's refer back to our tilapia filleting that we did a while back. Now, it's a really easy process. You just basically take the fish, go behind the gill, all the way down the backbone to the tail, flop that over, get between the skin, come back, cut out that rib cage, and then we just dice that up. Now what we've got here is really is a like a little meal. It smells good. It's just wonderful stuff. Now let's go ahead and add our fish. Yeah. This is diced bluegill. Now look at the nice color there. You smell that? Yeah, I smell it. Yum. That's mixed up really good. Now, even though those bluegill are smaller, we use the same methods, mm -hmm. and we get nothing but meat, so you don't have to worry about bones in any of this. So now, we're gonna take a little bit of oil in here. We're gonna do a little dip. Oh, yum. Now we're gonna take this, and you remember how you kind of flatten they were, it out? Yeah, they were wonderful. That's my kind of fritter. Now, you've heard of people catching small bluegill grinding the whole thing up and making a patty out of that. This is similar, but when you get all those peppers and the garlic and everything in here, I'm telling you what, it really comes out nice. Ooh, can we make some more? So in order to, yeah, oh. I'm gonna go ahead and- Make a bunch. I'll tell you what, if you wanna go ahead and dip me up some spoonfuls, that's a little trick. Put your little hot grease in here and then dip and it won't stick. Gonna we're just gonna let them get shape okay. and firm up a bit, and then we're gonna take and put it in a deep fryer to let the inside cook real good and brown them a little bit further. I like how they're more together, mm -hmm. like that. Not mushy in the middle, nice and crunchy. You smell that? I'm ready. <laughs> now, if you can picture in your mind this, the smell of, I get the jalapenos, I get mm -hmm. the peppers, I get the onions. If you can imagine all those smells combined with a little bit of fish. And it's fried this is nicely. Dig in. I like the crunch. These are the best fritters. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so basically, you have a little meal right here. Perfectly healthy. That is good. Mm -hmm. Nothing in a bad. Couldn't get conked, but I've, I've always been fascinated by the thought process of people say that they take their bluegill up and they, they crunch them up. I don't want the bones. So we got bluegill big enough mm -hmm. that we could get a little filet out of it, boneless. That is absolutely delicious. If you're in the mood for some seafood, but you're still here, you can always catch bluegill. Right. Wow. Now, if you want to look for some other recipes that you might not have seen, check out timfarmerscountrykitchen.com. We have gazillions of recipes, things from all over. Also, Tim Farmer's Country Kitchen Facebook page and like it.
Moses is so <laughs> upset because he doesn't have a Fredder. You think we should give him a bite here in a minute? Maybe a little piece. And remember, it's all about good times, good friends, and really good ease. Mm. Dig in. Official finger food. Mm.